Hi fellas, this is a, a video mainly for Renault Megane owners, but I think a lot of the advice could be used on the Volkswagen Cabriolet and also the Peugeot Cabriolet, Cabriolet which also suffer from problems with these quarter covers here. Because they actually finished the car off nicely, this still needs a wipe over. But they fill the gaps when the roof's uh, down, fill the gaps here. Uh, these are broken three times, yeah, these are broken three times and uh, you can buy them second hand, I saw a couple recently advertised with £50 each um, and they've already been sold long ago. Uh, my problem was I broke the cable on, on the near side. Anyway, it is possible to fix them. Uh, you, across, if you go across the joints, I used a, a, bit of, a bit of a tip off my father, you can drill them or if you put a nice neat hole about about seven eight seven to eight millimeters with a soldering iron either side of the snapped plastic this is already snapped here there as you can see there there one two goes it oh there yeah across each one of these brakes i've drilled a hole and i used uh i'm gonna use i used a big tire up on that because it would fit but i used medium sized tire wraps across the joints and just before you pull them tight, obviously feed some super glue into the gap. And the good thing about the, the longer tube of super glue, Poundland stuff's okay, but it's a longer tube of super glue, but uh, it's made by Loctite. And the good thing about it is it, it takes about 30 seconds to set. And it doesn't, it's, it's a little bit thicker. And I used it on this. The good thing about it is you can actually, you can actually put it on later to reinforce the joints, which is what I've done here. Probably doesn't look beautiful, as beautiful as a, as a couple of new flaps, but at the end of the day, this is the only time you're going to see this. <laughs> but, you know, when you're putting the roof down. Uh, what happens is they stick out the springs in here. Springs in here go weak. This car's 15 years old. R really good condition for its age, but these springs inevitably go a bit weak. What's meant to happen is when this goes down, this neatly, this neatly swings here, and goes on to this stop. It keeps them uh, on the, in the stored position, and then it keeps them nice and uh, nice and safe. Well, this spring obviously wears in time, and it's very important these are very well greased. At the moment, I've used margarine, to be quite frank. I didn't have any grease, but it seems to do the job. I'm going to lubricate them again. But uh, initially, the near side one broke, and I repaired it, and soon after, this one broke. But bear in mind, this is the fourth time I've actually put them. So if you fix them this way uh, and, it, and you do have a mishap, it'll just break the tie wrap and it shouldn't do any more damage. So as you see, this, it still needs a clean, but the cables are in situ. These cables should be quite taut. It's like a guitar string, really. The other side I had to replace with a, a two pound Holford's um, gear cable which fits in the nipple at the other side at the levers down here. It does fit in there, locks in quite nicely. And these are no longer supplied by Renault. This is the problem. I went to Renault, my local Renault dealer, and they are no longer stocked. So if you break the inner, you either repair it or something else, or the job's stuffed, really. So I've, I've done a, a repair here. I've used part of a plug to lock it nicely, and they do work very well. I took a couple of steel pictures, I don't know if I can use them, but uh, this was the side that broke first, but as you see, it's not, I'd better use in black tie wraps. It's still, I put some extra super glue on there, it's still a bit too, but obviously the more you reinforce it, the better it is, um, within reason. Get the alignment right though, obviously put the holes right in the center of, of the brakes. So I'm not bothered, it's being a bit messy because you don't see it anyway. I might even give it a little bit of paint when it's finished, but it does work fine now. Um, so I am going to add, actually, I am going to add some additional springing. See, so it's quite, it's quite working quite well right now because there's plenty of margarine and grease in there. But this actually drops down about one and a half centimetres and slots right the way back, swings right the way back on this pivot. And that's the storage, stored position, it should be there. But when they break, they're not in that stored position. This side is stuck out halfway out like this. So I'm sure this, this is a repair method. If you prefer to buy the whole shelf second hand, that's good. Uh, these are a bit fiddly, the springs, they only go in one way and the side did. So you've got to be careful. But uh, if you want to avoid any trouble, keep it all well greased and WD 40 And there is adjustments here. There is adjustments here on the um, on the cable to get it right. The, the clips, the clips tend to get lost very easily. 
Uh, I've, got, I've lost one, I've got the other one away. But you can use tie wraps to, because this needed to be tightened and see this, this too is quite tight. But it does work and it's very cheap. I think I knew, in total I used two tubes of 179 large Loctite super glue, slow setting super glue. It still needs some more lubrication. As you see, this is an effective way. I mean, I could, I could do, do it on the switch and show you, but I won't bother. Uh, obviously, we tend, we tend to get caught either on this boot section or the roof bar, the big strong roof bar. That's it snaps the hell out of them. And this one, as you can see the brakes there, there was a bad brake there, bad brake there, bad brake there. And I was quite prepared to buy a couple, but I couldn't see any advertised. And using an old trick I learned off my dad, you get a soldering iron. You could use a drill as well, but that's more vibration, it's more trouble. You know, when you're ready to fit the drill in. I used a soldering iron and I, I trimmed off the the swarf either side to make it nice and clean. And it is you need needle nose pliers and be sure to just tighten the tie wraps after you you know finally just put them on loose and tie them after you've put the super glue into the joints because it makes it much stronger. You see I've actually built up there. It's quite, there's actually a good few millimetres of super glue there. Very good stuff, that slow setting Loctite. I haven't got the packet handy. But uh, this should come in useful for both Megane owners, probably Volkswagen and uh, Cabriolet owners, and uh, I think the Peugeot's are much the same. I don't have trouble because of, the, because of this spring going loose. This spring loses tension, but I'm going to add another spring, either a spring between these two here, or even though I was thinking that actually it doesn't need much help. I mean, when they get stuck, you can just flick them with your finger and they pop in. So I'll probably use some elastic, <laughs> some micro elastic or, or one spring in the centre and, and a line going either side. It doesn't really matter because it's completely hidden, you know, when the roof's down or up. You only see it when it's locked in this halfway up position. Uh, it has a nasty habit as well when you work in here, if, if the ignition's on, it has a nasty habit of trying to close uh, and which if you've yeah, got your hands down here is a bit fucking scary excuse the language but uh, yeah so be careful of that even even with the even with the fuse out the roof, the roof can try and complete its cycle and go down uh, which is you know it's, it's a couple of times it's nearly caught my hands so <laughs> maybe a good idea to use the pressure off off the hydraulic system but it, just to show it is possible to fix these and uh, I'd say you've noticed it, it is slow setting the super glue, but the great thing about it is you can actually build up the strength later to reinforce it. Okay, guys, I'll try and post this to the running form or a link to it. Uh, I tried posting something the other day, but it's a bit awkward getting the getting the uh, pictures on there and the videos. So um, I think my username's Dave2007CC Toy or something. My name is Dave. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.